In this video, I will be explaining what the Klebsch Gordon coefficient table is and how it is used, and I'll explain um, with an example as well. In the video that I um, did earlier, if you watched it, we went through how to calculate the probability of this decay to happen, and we went through all the different projections. Now, um, we got these two answers, and a good way of cross-checking your answers is um, using this table. So uh, I've written down our two answers here but without the probabilities so we can cross-check them with our previous results. So the first thing that I like to do is how I've done here is write down all the uh, different isospin and isospin projections of each particle and the, um, this makes just the process a bit easier and a bit quicker. So the first thing you want to do is uh, take to identify which little table you want to use. So you have all these different tables in the, um, in the Klebsch Gordon coefficients and they all represent different types of decays. So um, for let's start with this one. We need to find the table that has the um, correct projections, the correct isospin and to that we to do that we look at this one, so this one has to have the uh, isospin of a half and the isospin of one. Again here we have a half and one, so we want the one with one and a half. So this is the correct table that we will use for this uh, decay. Next step, we need to um, look at the isospin and isospin projection of the, um, the decaying particle, so in this case a delta plus and the um, isospin and isospin projection is 3 over 2 and 1 over 2. So we go and look at all these columns and the correct one will be so 3 over 2 and a half which is this column right here. So we write down delta plus. So now the next thing we need to do is look at the, so these are the two, essentially, these are our two probabilities, but we need to figure out which is which. To do that, we look at the uh, Z projections of our particles. So these two rows are Z projection. So we go look at our particle and the Z projection of N is a minus a half and the Z projection of and plus is one so minus a half and one this is our probability so it's root of one over three always remember to add the square root because th these these values are all square rooted but it would be a little bit too messy if they were written like that and uh, therefore the other probability for the proton and the uh, um, pi on zero pair will be 2 over 3. Okay, so let's do another example now. We will do it for the uh, other decay, so it's uh, delta zero, decaying into either a uh, neutron and a pi on zero or a uh, proton and a uh, pi on minus. Let's find out the probability. Again we're still using the same table because we have a half and one. So this table is again still correct and we go down in one and this will be our column. So a little tip and trick. Actually in this um, in this table this is uh, delta plus plus then the next column is delta plus the next one is delta zero and um, this one is delta minus so here's a quick little tip and trick so uh, this is the column that we're looking at and these are the z projection therefore these are our two probabilities now we need to differentiate which ones it is so the zero here corresponds to the z projection of the pi and zero, therefore it will be for this decaying particles. Let's check with the z projection of the neutron, exactly minus a half, therefore it's correct. So it's 
root of 2 over 3 and the other one will therefore be therefore uh, root of 1 over 3. Okay, let's now check our results and see if they match with our previous ones. So root of 1 over 3, root of 2 over 3, correct, and then root of 2 over 3, correct, and root of 1 over 3, correct. Perfect. So I hope you understood uh, well what we did in this example and you can also do more um, exercise by um, just looking up different decaying particles and particle projections um, into other particles and you can get uh, your practice in. I hope this helped and thank you for watching. Bye!